Good morning, guys. After yesterday's video on the walnut sawing, I had a lot of questions about the madrone that I had mentioned at the beginning of the video. A lot of you have never heard of it or seen it, and this right here is a lovely piece of madrone that I got from my fire station project that I started uh, right, right around Christmas time. Madrone is a very fast growing hardwood and it's a very dense hardwood. It's, it's strange how dense this wood is uh, for how fast it grows. And because it's a fast growing hardwood, it's very temperamental uh, when you mill it. It, uh, it likes to warp and crack. It's hard to get good lumber out of it. I, I managed to do that though uh, a couple years ago for my wife's hair salon. I cut a slab for her front desk and some shelves uh, for the hair stations that came out really nice and so it's definitely worth it if you can pull it off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this thing just about in half and I'm gonna clean up this butt end and get some anchor seal on it so that we can uh, sort of prevent as much warping and cracking. It really it needs to dry slowly. So I'm gonna do everything I can to promote that and uh, well, let's get started. Now about a month and a half ago, my wife and I purchased a vacation rental on the Oregon coast and we've been down there doing a bunch of painting and stuff. And so that's where all my paintbrushes are, but this is a non-toxic wax and uh, I'll just use a rag to coat the end grain real well and that'll keep it from drying out too fast and splitting. This will end up drying clear. You won't even really be able to tell it's there. I believe my wife got this on Amazon. It's about $30 for the gallon, I think. Now this monster is going to be kind of tricky. 23, so pretty much 23 inches around, but it's got a bit of a curve to it. And I, I'm not quite sure I figured out how I want to saw it yet. You can see on this end, there were two massive limbs. And I think that if I, if I cut it on a plane across those limbs, I'm going to get the best figure out of the wood inside. So I think I'm going to spin it 90 degrees and uh, see what happens. What I'm going to do here is put the log back up on the deck. Now I think I've got the weight centered a little bit better on the log roller, so uh, this should go a little bit better. I'm also going to put up my log loading arms to uh, catch it in case it tries to run away again. All 
right, guys, this thing just about got the best of me, but it's finally, probably after a half an hour of monkeying around and having it fall off the mill one more time, I think I've got it about as close to where I want it as I, I'm going to get it. I'm just about to turn it into firewood if it won't start working with me here. So let's start sawing and see what she looks like. Because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to try and uh, roll this over 180. I might have to change the uh, pitch a little bit too, which will leave me a wedge at the end, but I want to make sure that I get that crotch figure in the, the longest board I can. So I think I'm going to raise up this end as high as I can to sort of flatten out this this line here and it, like I said it's going to leave a wedge on the last piece there but it's going to give me the most lumber out of that crotch end. <laughs> Well, I don't know if the camera is doing this stuff justice, but it is pretty awesome. I thought it was going to be tough to beat that walnut yesterday, and well, that walnut yesterday was pretty awesome, uh, but this is a pretty close second. So I'm going to get this stuff stickered up and drying in the shade, and uh, maybe grab some cedar. Thanks for watching. <laughs>